I bet you if anyone go, sees one in the wild, anyone gets to go swimming with them, they'll feel the same way as I do. Uh, this is our second year in a row when we have something called a, a, a summer programs where we actually provide research experiences, research training in shark biology and conservation to participants who want to get real hands-on experience from marine biology uh, from, from around the world. To see a species that it's been living for over 400 million years and until this point and still being the top predators of their of their environment, it's it's something I don't know, you know, like unbelievable. Not only they're learning the science, not only are they doing the science through hands-on, not only being you know seeing my graduate students as role models. So the main goal of this project is to create that baseline, what we know a healthy shark looks like, and then once there's an abnormality, we can kind of start getting a clinical idea and work towards a diagnosis of what's going on in these sharks. They're also doing science that generates scientific papers that has a purpose, which is, you know, uh, shark conservation, you know, the work that they're involved with gets published. It's information that, go, that, can, that goes into making policies that can help conserve sharks.